All right, Joel, you play Ben, who, a college student, gets taken out by a friend uh, at a frat house during this pilot and kind of has a night he'll never forget. Um, can you tell us a bit about Ben before this purge night? Like, do you have a backstory in place from the writers or in your mind of who yeah, he was? Yeah, definitely. Um, and most of this stuff was given to me. Okay. Uh, he's got a, a brother and a mom and a girlfriend. He's a member of a fraternity. He's really an average dude. Mm -hmm. who, uh, really average grades. There's nothing that stands out about him. I guess that besides yeah. my own height. Yeah. Character, but, uh, and this is his first purge. It wasn't explicitly uh, stated in the episode. Episode one at least. Yeah. Um, but it is his first purge and he's pretty anti-purge. As it, as are most of the people in his life. Um, so this is this is something but it's kind of like an initiation thing of being a part of this fraternity that you have to go out and do this. You have to go out and take a picture at Suicide Bridge. Yeah. Um, but Ben is a kid, his dad died a few years prior. Um, they kind of live off off the beaten path, just in a small neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, other than that, it wanted the whole point of the character to me was to be a surrogate, mm -hmm. a conduit for the audience to because he is such a broad stroke of the paintbrush that we can all kind of relate to the character so much that yeah. you really feel like, well, what would I do if I were in that situation on my first perch? Yeah. Because, you know, if that world comes and that alternate universe uh, merges with ours and here we are, what would you do? Yeah, and it's funny because I think it recently there's a, I think once you hit a certain age or a certain moment in your life, uh, there's a switch that gets flipped where you look at college students and you're like, man, they're babies. But it's like in those college years, you kind of figure out yourself uh, who you are, who you want to be. And for Ben, this is just such a dramatic moment that brings him down this dark road. Right. Um, what was the journey? I, I guess as an actor, this is a really dark journey to take. Um, what was this journey like for you? It was dark. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, the good thing is we were doing four storylines, so I had my off days where I could kind of decompress a bit, but yeah, you have to dance with the devil a little bit to do a character like this, and especially, it gets really dark mm -hmm. in the show, um, but you know, I didn't know anybody, we're living in New Orleans, so it, it allowed me a time to just kind of really dig into all that, Yeah. Uh, but it's pretty scary. Sure. I mean, like the audience, I'm also taking that journey with the character to say, yeah. what would I do? Am I this person? Because you have to find ways in which you're, you relate to the character. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and finding the workflow within that mindset of approaching a character when it's so dark like that. It's very, uh, at times... You know, I, I had tons of nightmares, tons of sleepless oh. nights. <laughs> yeah. Um, try to approach it in the healthiest way, but it's very difficult, yeah. Now, um, Ben has a, a frat brother of his that kind of leaves him to dry yeah. at, uh, when uh, the situation gets bad on Perch Night. Uh, what can you uh, tease about that relationship uh, over the course of the season? Yeah, the, well... So that, for me, even changed because we get scripts mm -hmm. as you go, but um, he's back. He's back throughout the show. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that storyline, the two of us, is the most compelling throughout the show, uh, at least in, within my storyline. With all the relationships I have with, my, with the other characters, they're a little more brief or don't dig in quite as much, but uh, that actor is great. Uh, his name's Matt Shively. Him and I had I think great chemistry working together and uh, it was a blast but also uh, you're, you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get to see us because he is the he is kind of the bad guy in this show I'm the Ben is the uh, he's the the guy who is a victim of circumstance right mm -hmm. and, and this guy Turner is kind of he's the villain yeah right but we're, we're gonna see a different side of him very soon in a few episodes that he's also sympathetic and that was important for all of us involved to you want to be able to sympathize with all these characters mm -hmm. um, instead of just 
villainizing everybody <laughs> or a few. You know? Yeah. And it makes it, I think, more compelling and unsettling if you if you can understand someone's actions as opposed to just like here's this gore porn that. Yeah. How exciting is it that he's a killer, right? Yeah. Because I think the producers themselves were saying it, it's a lot of the questions people have is what happens the night after a purge. Right. And if we get a year of that journey, um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, just one final question that I'm kind of asking everyone. Yeah. Um, do you have a purge plan in place? <laughs> do I? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, if you can't move out of the country, then uh, you bunker up. And if you can't bunker up, then... I guess you get your weapons in place and <laughs> and make sure you have armor and the chase tail and all of that and then hopefully your your car is indestructible or something like that. <laughs> you, you wouldn't know, decide to hide. I would be out there I mean I would want to hide, but yeah. you know, if you don't have that option I would definitely I'd be out in the streets helping people and be yeah, hiding would be Running and hiding would be number one plan, okay. for sure. What right. about you? Oh, uh, for me, I was telling Derek that I'd probably go to a Costco and climb up into the rafters of like one of those tall shelves and just hide there for the entire That's night. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, you'd have to go obscure with your lo- hiding location. Right? Yeah, you can't be the uh, like a trap door and you. Yeah. who's gonna roll up the carpet over you and all of that? Yeah. Like, it's something to think about for sure. Yeah, I need that, to get more specific. That or just break into a Baskin Robbins and just like eat old ice cream as I right. sit there. Right. Yeah. Play dead. That's yeah. what Alice said during the Q and A on the panel. That's a good idea. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Hey,